Hi, I am Satya, Assistant Professor, Department of Computer Applications, Kaysar College of Arts and Science, Parvuman, Tirchungur. Now we are going to discuss about Python programming unit 1 and 2. Introduction Python is a widely used general purpose high level programming language. It was created by Guido von Rosam in 1991 and further developed by the Python Software Foundation. It was a designed with the emphasis on code readability and its syntax allows programmers to express their concept in fewer lines of code. Literals Python literals are a data type and can hold any value type such as strings, numbers and more. Because Python literals are used to store base data for the source code of your software, they need to robust enough to work with any data. Python literals can hold any data you need. Every language contains words and a set of rules that would make a sentence meaningful. Similar in Python programming language, there are a set of predefined words called keywords which along with identifiers will form meaningful sentence when used together. Python keywords cannot be changed. Build in data type. Python data type are the classification or categorization of data items. It represents the kind of value that tell what operations can be performed on a particular data. Since everything is an object bro uh, Python programming, Python data types are classes and variables are instance of these classes. The following are the standard or built-in data types. Input and output statements. Understanding input and output operation is fundamental to Python programming. With the print function, you can display output in various formats while the input function enable interaction with users by gathering input during programming execution. Commands enhance the readability of the code and help the programmer to understand the code very carefully. It also helps the collaborating with the other developers as adding commands makes it easier to explain the code. Commands in Python are the line in the code that are ignored by the interpreter during the execution of the program. Operations in Python. Python programming operations in general are used to perform operations on values and variables. These are standard symbols used for used for logical and arithmetic operations. In this article, we will look into different types of Python operators. In Python programming language, division operations allow you to divide two number of return a quantitative that is first number or number at the left is divided by the second number or number at the right and return the quantient. Type conversion. The act of changing an object data type is known as type conversion. The Python interrupt automatically perform implicit type conversion. Python prevents implicit type conversion uh, from losing data. Array. The array can help in Python by a module named array. They can be useful when we have to manipulate only specific data type values. A user can treat lists as arrays. However, the user cannot contain a type of elements stored in a list. If you create Python arrays using the arrays module, all elements of the arrays in Python must be of the same type. Uh, control branching. Control branching one of these if statement. The if statement is most similar decision making statement. It is used to decide whether a certain statement or block of uh, statements will be executed or not. If else statement. The if else statement along tell us if the condition is true, it will execute a block of statements and if the condition is false, if would not. But if we want to do something else, if the contains in false, we can use the else statement with if else statement Python to execute a block of code when the Python condition is false. Nested if statement. Nested if statements or if statement inside another if statement. These can be very useful to make complex decisions in script. They can be several levels deep. It's better to avoid deep nesting as it may get confused to research deeply nested if statements. If else, else statements. If else statements is shortcut of if else chain. While using if elif statement at the end else, end else block is added which is performed if none of the above if elif uh, statement is true. Statement to evaluate the value of the variable letter, it prints the corresponding message based on whether the letter is B, C, A or none of the specified values, demonstrating a sequential ev evolution of conditions for controlled branching. Iterating statement while loop. Python while loop is used to execute a block of statements repeatedly and 
until a given condition is satisfied whether the condition because false the line immediately after the loop in the program is executing while loop falls under the category of indefined iteration for loop the for loop is python or a special type of loop statement that is used for sequential traversal python for loop is used to iterate over uh, iterating like a string tuple list set or dictionary in python the for loop is used used to iterate over a sequence such as list tuple string or dictionary or any uh, iterable object nested loop a nested loop has one or more loops within the body of the another loop. The two loop are referred to the outer loop and inner loop. The outer loop controls the number of inner loop full execution. Python programming language there are two types of loops which are which for loop and while loop, for loop and while loop. Using these loops we can create nested loop in Python. Nested loop means loops inside a loop. For example, while loop inside a for loop, for loop inside for the for loop etc jump statement break statement break statement in python is used to bring the control out of the loop when uh, some ex external conditions are triggered break statement is put inside the loop body generally after if condition in terminate the current loop that is the loop in which it appears the resumes execution at the next statements immediately after the end of the loop if the break statement is inside a nested loop, the break will terminate the innermost loop. Break in Python is a loop control statement. It is used to control the sequence of loop. Suppose you want to terminate a loop and skip to the next code after the loop. Break will help you do that. Continue statement. Continue statement is a loop control statement that forces to execute the next iteration for the loop while skipping the rest of the code inside the loop for the current iteration only that is when the continue statement is executed in the loop the code inside the loop following the continue statement will be skipped for the current iteration and the next iteration of the loop will begin the continue statement in python is used to skip the uh, remaining code inside a loop for the current iteration only Pause. The pause statement in Python Python is used to when a statement or a condition is required to the present in the program, but we want to any comments or code to execute. Pause statement. The pause statement signals to loop that there is a no code to execute here. It is a placeholder for the further code. A continue statement is used to force the uh, loop to skip the remaining code and start the next iteration python pass statement the pass statement is used to placeholder for further code when the pass statement is executing nothing happens but you avoid uh, getting an error when empty code is allowed empty code is not allowed empty code is not allowed in the loop further definition classes conclusion python is a popular programming language it used to many things like web development data science and scientific computing it is easy to learn and has many resources available taking a python course can help you learn to program or get a job that use python thank you